Well, hello ladies and gentlemen. Uh, tonight I have a piece of yellow brass uh, put into the chuck here and I uh, wanted to illustrate a couple of principles here. First what we got here marked in red is a, uh, a brass tool um, or what I like to use for brass. On one side of it it has the classic 10 degree tool that uh, I just love to pieces. Uh, the only difference is for brass this does not have any top rake cut into it um, otherwise it has a, a potential propensity to uh, pull into the work or pull the work into the tool which is undesirable so to that end uh, we don't put any top rake on it what I've also done is made the rounded tool for the same purpose it works very well on brass um, it probably would work on bronze up to uh, uh, certain like uh, I'm not sure uh, maybe aluminum bronze might be difficult uh, it's difficult to machine on bigger lathes and may prove to be challenging and may come up in one of these uh, future videos but what I've done to illustrate a point here is I've taken a piece of uh, dead soft not dead soft but soft key stock uh, marks very easily with a file just to illustrate a principle um, I made a cutting tool out of this stock for brass um, just to illustrate the point that you don't really need hardened materials to cut uh, some other materials that are softer all you really have to do is make sure that whatever you are trying to cut is softer than what's trying to cut it and generally speaking um, it will work now this just has <clears throat> the uh, 10 degree radius uh, is covered by the, the 10 degree angle so uh, that's all I've done to this is put 10 degrees on it just to illustrate the point here um, that it will cut brass just as it is here we go okay that was just a touch pass there let's go in now this is not a cutting tool this is softer than high-speed steel uh, there are no special properties to this uh, other than uh, it's a piece of key stock now it don't really like it but it illustrates the principle that this uh, tool can push brass out of place. Now let's go ahead and install our 10 degree tool that's got a little bit of a point to it here. Okay, go ahead and back this off. Uh, 1100 RPMs here just for the uh, observer. Okay, let's go ahead and go in. Uh, Four thousands here. And with the uh, 10 degree tool, there is zero resistance. Um, let's go ahead. Two, four, six, eight thousandths. Eight thousandths to have to cut. And as you can see, zero resistance on this pointed tool. This is the 10 degree tool without the top rake. Uh, let's take a shallower cut here. Let's go one and a half hash marks. So that should be uh, give or take uh, 6,000 if I'm uh, reading everything correctly here. Now the only thing that I can say is I think this machine's developing just a little bit of backlash to it. So I don't know that I'm uh, necessarily making full depth of cut that I'm thinking I'm making. So let's uh, go ahead and even this out here. So 
Sorry for the delay here. Just trying to find the happy place here. So let's go to four, fourth more thousands here. And you hear just the slightest of loading, but no problem whatsoever. I don't really feel brass is a challenge to uh, machine on anything, but uh, it makes a very nice surface finish. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to go ahead and flip around uh, to the rounded tool design. Uh, very generous radius here. I guess you could use this as a roughing tool if you had to uh, remove a whole bunch of material real quick like um, and that right there is probably a good uh, well I suppose we can measure that Okay, I got uh, 7.34 millimeters. Seven point seven three. So, uh, pretty decent depth of cut there, and uh, yeah, we're uh, smooth as a baby's butt there. Um, Yes, uh, we'll go ahead and finish out the cut. And let's take just a single 2000s cut here. A little bit of singing. Probably likes slightly deeper depth of cut. Two, four. You may be able to run this tool just a little bit slower too, so it doesn't sing as much. Um, go ahead and verify that one. Yeah, I suppose I could have made that just a little tighter. Let's see if that helped out. Yeah, the uh, the rounded tool is probably a little bit better for roughing. Um, it imparts a you can't feel it, but you can see just a slight wave to it or whatever. No, uh, that isn't imparted by the pointed tool for whatever reason. Might be pushing the ground a little bit, but. Uh, Regardless, uh, both of these tools are uh, sufficient for use on brass. Uh, we'll have to try bronze, um, and maybe that'll come up in another video. But uh, this hopefully explains the 10-degree uh, uh, brass tool that I make. Thank you.